How to find a Girl Scout troop, Girl Scouts Heart of Central California. The first step will be navigating to Girl Scouts HCC.org. Once you're on the Girl Scouts HCC main page, you'll want to scroll down until you see the selection for join. You'll select join and then select get started. Once we navigate to this page, this page is selecting basic information that it will need in order to populate a troop search for your girl in our online catalog. So the girl's first and last name, you'll go ahead and type in. The zip code is a zip code you want to search for a troop in. The grade in fall is going to be the grade she's currently in if you're looking anytime between August and through March. If you're looking anytime after March or over the summer, you'll want to look for the fall she'll be, grade she'll be in in the fall in the upcoming year. So for example, as of right now, we're going to look for the grade that the girls are going into in fall of 2020. Caregiver information is your information. Email and telephone number, the email and telephone number you're comfortable with receiving communications from Girl Scouts and Girl Scout Troop Leader. Select continue once the page has been completely filled out. Here you are on our online catalog page, the beginning process. If you're coming in with a troop number that has already been provided for you, go ahead and put the troop number in and then select a magnifying glass. If you do not have a troop number, you'll want to come over to the section where it says find an opportunity near you. As you will see, the information you implemented on the previous page automatically populated here. The one thing you'll need to do is update the radius. Once you've updated the radius to at least five miles, select search. Now you'll see you have the option to view our online catalog that has availability of troops openings for girls in your daughter's grade level. The grade level here will list all the grades that the troop currently has and is accepting girls in. K and 1, so this means this troop is accepting girls in kindergarten and first grade. The location will provide you the approximate location of where the troop meets. Typically it may be major cross streets or location of nearest school. The main location of where they meet is not provided for safety reasons. The days let you know the frequency and days of the week. The start time, what time the troop starts. Opening is the number of openings that are remaining in the troop. Volunteers needed lets you know how many volunteers are needed in order to allow the troop to meet. If you see a number here, it needs two volunteers to get the troops to meet. If you see a zero, it means it has all the volunteers the girls need in order for the troop to be active and meeting. What you're going to want to do next is scroll through the online catalog and take a look at the different options for you for your girl to join. You can browse through the catalog on the multiple pages. Once you've found the troop that you'd like your girl to join, you will go ahead and hit select. That troop will then go into your cart. Make sure before you finish that you review that you selected the correct troop by viewing the troop number, the location, the days of the week, and then select next. Now you're at the membership location spot. Depending on the time of the year, you may, may be able to select our extended year. Go ahead and at this time, select the membership, whether it's extended year, which pays for up to a year and a half of membership, or girl membership, which pays for the full year. Our membership is a one-time annual fee. Girl membership is $25. Custodial care information is parent or guardian information that you have. You can select to put both parents and all guardians in at this time, or just one of your, yourselves. Go ahead and put your street information you're okay with mailing. The date of birth that's asking for is the girl's date of birth. For the school name, you'll just want to put in the full name or part of the name. Then select the magnifying glass. If you don't see the school that it came up, go ahead and select school not found, or if they're homeschooled, homeschooled. For the ethnicity and race information, you can choose to select or choose, I'm, choose not to share. For the race information, select the race you'd like, to, you'd like to choose or choose I choose not to share. Make sure you come here and select the arrow to move over. Parent and caregiver for information is yours. If the girl's address is the same as yours, select same as girl. Hit submit. The order summary page gives a total order summary as of right now that you're paying for one girl membership in the value of $25 for Daisy Low. If you need to request financial aid, please go ahead and select the box. Once you select the box and hit checkout, it'll double confirm that you would like to select financial aid. 
if you do not need to select financial aid, please go ahead and submit checkout. So if you need financial aid, or if you have not, you will next come to this page of member registration acceptance for household. Please read the page in its entirety. There are portions on the page that have boxes pre-selected. You must go through and read to see if you wish to keep the box selected or unselected. After you've read this entire section in its entirety, select Submit. This page here is if you have not selected financial assistance. Once you've selected financial assistance, it'll give you an order summary page and let you know that someone will connect with you from the Girl Scout Council to finish processing her membership and the financial assistance qualifications. As you have not selected financial assistance, you will then come to this page. This page lets you know again, the order summary is pending in the amount of $25. It does give you the option if you'd like to make a donation to Girl Scouts, HCC or Girl Scouts Heart of Central California or Girl Scouts USA. If you would not like to, select not at this time and continue to payment. The mailing address and billing address, if they are the same, select same as my mailing. This is the address information that you inputted previously in the system. You'll put your card information in for that and hit confirm. Once you've hit confirmed, it'll let you know that the payment was processed and put through. If it was not processed and put through, it'll inform you that as well. Once the payment has been processed and put through, it'll give you a confirmation page. You'll have the option to print and save the confirmation page or save it as a PDF. Two things will happen then. Confirmation page will also get emailed to you to the email address you provided confirming payment was processed, accepted, and your daughter's membership or your girl's membership is now complete. The second thing that'll happen is the email notification will go to the troop leaders of the troop you selected, notifying they have a new member, and the troop leaders will contact you to let you know the specific days and exact meeting location. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please let us know here at Girl Scouts Heart of Central California by reaching out to our customer care team.